Londa Toraja Cave holds many stories. Toraja has beautiful nature. The air is cool and fresh. The wind is blowing gently. As a tourist destination, Toraja offers sensations. There is Londa Cave where tourists can experience a unique view with corpse coffins stored in caves on steep rocky cliffs. Afraid? No need. Because the Londa Cave tomb is not like tombs in general. Located 7 km south of Rantapau, precisely in Sandan Wai village, Sangalangi district, North Toraja Regency, South Sulawesi province, that is where Londa Cave is located. Transport that is not difficult to get there means that many local and foreign tourists enjoy the ease of traveling to Goa Londa. There are motorbike taxi services, motorbike rickshaws, rental cars or private vehicles from Rantapau city center that can take us to the location. Traveling via Makassar to Rantapau takes around eight to nine hours using public transport buses. Londa itself is a cave tomb tourist attraction located on a hill, inside which contains coffins, bones, and skulls of corpses that are hundreds of years old. Londa is a cave formed by nature intended for storing the remains of Toraja ancestors and their descendants. This cave is on the side of a steep rock hill which is high above the hill. In the past, before the arrival of Islam and Christianity in Tana Toraja, the local population had adhered to a belief inherited from their ancestors called Aluk Todolo or Alukta. This Alukta belief is what underlies the traditional rituals and traditions of the Toraja people. In Goa Landa, coffins are not buried, but simply placed there. There was no aura of horror and no smell of corpses, even though there were many scattered skulls and coffins that were hundreds of years old. The conditions in the cave are not hot at all. In fact, the air is cool and gentle. Upon arrival at the Londa Cave tourist attraction, visitors are greeted by several tourists. Renting a Petromax with a tour guide costs approximately IDR $25,000 per person. The tour guides there generally still have family ties to the bodies of the people buried in the cave. In front of the Londa Cave area, there are many Tao Tao statues in Toraja that resemble the real faces of deceased people. According to Toraja tradition, before the body is made into a statue, the bereaved family must carry out the ritual of slaughtering 24 buffalo. It's not just the Tao Tao that is inside the cave. The view of the coffins or erong on the hill wall is also enchanting. The chest is supported with special wood so that it does not fall. Erong is the coffin of the nobles. The higher the chest is located in the cave, the higher the level. Visitors can also enjoy other views. Once they come out of Londa Cave, there is a path with several steps up to a castle in the middle of the hill. From the top of the castle, we can see the view of the stone tomb on the hill, where there is a cavity where the body is kept. The storage on the hill was carried out because the cave was already full of coffins. In the past, before being stored in Londa Cave, Toraja traditional people usually kept their bodies in the Tongkonan house. Body storage is a maximum of 36 nights for Toraja noble families. Outside of the nobility, it could be less than that or not kept at all because the ceremony was too short. There are terms given to the bodies that are stored, namely to Makula and to Meite. To Makula is a body that is kept considered only as a sick person. Meanwhile, to mate, the body is undergoing a series of ceremonies, or a look to mate. Around the stacked coffins, we often find drinks, cigarettes, beetle, or clothes. This is a symbol that the corpse was kept as to the macula. There is a mysterious story told by the tour guide about the two caves there, Goa Londa and Goa Lemo. These two caves are like a couple who committed suicide because their love relationship failed without the approval of both people. 
the pair of lovers are still related. This can be seen from their two bones, which are placed close to each other.